Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. Uh, we're just going to do a quick little video here to show you Auto Ingenuity. We are currently, as you can see in the bottom of the screen, hooked up to a Honda Civic 2007 model. So we're going to go through here and go through the tabs real quick that you can see everything. So the very first thing is, we had this thing already hooked up and scanning, so we didn't have to sit here and wait for it. And you'll see there's a bunch of different command, uh, a bunch of different ECUs that we're connected to. And they'll tell you on each of them if there's no codes found, like this one. Uh, some on the enhanced codes you'll see right here. So P0171, system tooling, bank one, status, current code. So we have an issue going on there with one of the, uh, one of the sensors. And again, some more information here on the brake system as well. And these other systems that it did find, uh, seat weight, multiplex integrated control unit system, no codes found. So that's where you're going to find all your data. Where you're going to find some of the other information is under actuations. So if I click on this, you'll see it pulls up a list of all the different commands that we can run on this vehicle. So I'll scroll through the list here real quick so everyone can get a nice quick glimpse through what goes on here. There's some of our cylinder deactivation commands. And as I scroll through here, we'll see a bunch of other things pop up as well. So just going through the list real nice and quick for everyone to get an idea of what is in there for these commands. Over on the live data meter page, we will find all the live data. Uh, the red ones are kind of like the static settings. The green one, we're actually hooked up to a live vehicle right now, so you can see them changing. Very easy to pick something else on this screen. You would simply pull the drop down box from the list and select whatever you wanted to watch. Okay. Going over to the live data graphs page, this is where you'd be able to do some graphing with the same type of information. So up at the very top, we have four different items we can select. You can watch them over time. We'll skip over here to the O2 sensors and the, some of these other commands that can be run. So this is where you would find all your O2 sensor information. You'd be finding what's going on with it. Clicking over to the inspection mode. This is where you can run a bunch of other tests. So I have one pulled up right now. This is the ETCS TAC test. So this, if I hit the button here, you'll see a list of all the different commands I can run. We'll select this one. We'll hit initiate. And right now you'll see down there it says performing test. Press the next button to continue. So I will click the button to continue. And we'll kind of let it go through this test here. So each once, so again, we just hit the button. Oh, I'm sorry. Go back, hit the done button to run that test. Follow the instructions below. And right now you can see down here that it's running through the uh, throttle actuator control relay. And this and say, oh, that one's normal. Now there's another test. Click through it. And it'll go through this one as well. All right, so this option wasn't available for this vehicle. But that's a real quick and simple how that works. And then our onboard test results is yet another menu over here that kind of gives you the status of a bunch of tests and commands if they are available in the vehicle. So thank you for watching, and feel free to ask any questions.